Hi friends, here is a very interesting question that is often asked in a wide spectrum of companies. Actually, I've seen some variation of this question being asked in interviews at Google, Amazon, Microsoft, you name any major top product based company, some variation of this question would have been asked. And this is typically asked for candidates who attend data science interviews, even data analyst interviews and sometimes even machine learning roles. And the objective of asking this problem is to the, the fundamental objective why some problem like this is often asked is they want to test if you can apply some basic concepts in probability and statistics to solving real world problems or not. Right. Again, I've been in some interview loops at some of these companies where the hiring manager says that please ask at least one question like this to analyze if the candidate who is interviewing uh, who is being interviewed can apply knows basic probability and can he solve real world problems using concepts in probability, right? So I've seen hiring managers say, please ask at least one question like this in the interview loop. Now let's see what this question here is. The question here says that 50% of the people who attend the first interview are invited to the second interview. 95% of the people who got invited for the second interview felt that they did well in the first interview. 75% of people that did not get invited for the second interview felt that they did well in the first interview, right? Bunch of cases. Now, if you feel that you did well, you did, you feel that you did well in the first interview, what is the probability that you'll get interviewed to the second interview? Okay, just try to, again, uh, some of these companies like Amazon, Google, etc. also conduct a online test sometimes. So I've seen this type of question being asked even in some of these online tests that they conduct to filter candidates and they ask you to insert a numerical value here, a floating point value rounded to three decimal places. Okay, Sometimes they conduct tests in which they ask some type of question like this. Again, this is not a very hard question. This is considered a fairly easy question. Hence, I've seen a variant of this question even being asked in phone screens. Okay, now. Please pause this video here. Please pause this video and try to tackle this problem on your own before you check out the solutions. I'll solve this problem in two different ways so that you can see how to solve it and how to think about problems like this. But I strongly recommend that you pause this video and try to solve it yourself first and foremost. Okay. Okay. I'm going to assume that you've given it a shot. Let's try to solve this problem. So let's look at all the facts given to us. Okay. So in this, I will not use any advanced concepts or even any formulae. First, I'll try to solve it using basic concepts of mathematical intuition. Okay. Without using any formulae. Okay. So let's see. It says 50% of people who attend the first interview are attended for this are, are invited for the second interview. Okay. So imagine, imagine that 200 people attend the first interview. Okay. So 200 people attend the first interview. Right of this 50% are invited to the second interview, which means 100 are not invited for the second interview, 100 are invited to the second interview. Okay, so let's assume these 100 are invited to the second interview, these 100 are not invited to the second interview. Let's just say I'm just drawing all the cases here. Now, so first this part of the equation, again, we're just taking some numbers here to make our math simple. Now here it says 95% of the people who got invited for the second interview which means 95% of these people who got invited to the second interview felt that they did well in the first interview. Okay, so which means 95 people here felt that they did well in the first interview. Okay, so W here means they did, they think they did well in the first interview. Five people think not well. They did, five people, see, if 95% of people who got invited, these are people who got invited to the second interview, right? Of them, 95%, which means 95 out of 100 people felt that they did well in the first round. Five felt they did not do well. So not well. So NW means not well. What about people? Uh, so this, this fact is also being taken into consideration. Next, 75% of people who did not get invited for the second interview. So of this 100 who did, they're not invited to the second interview. 75 people felt that they did well. And 25 people felt they did not do well. So third fact is also taken into consideration. Now, what do we want? Now, you feel that you did well in the first interview. Okay, you feel that you did, you, you did. See, suppose you, you're a person, right? You feel that you did well in the first interview, which means you can be one of these 95 or you can be one of these 75, right? So of the 200 people, 
you could either belong to this set or you could belong to this set of people right so you could be any of these uh, 160 people right so sorry this is what 95 plus 5 is 100 100 by 100 plus 70 is 170 you could be any of these 170 people this 95 or this 75 now the question says if you feel that you did well which means you could be any of these 170 people what is the probability that you'll get invited to the second interview okay what is the probability i'll get invited to the second interview now look at this of these 170 of these 95 plus 75 people how many people actually got invited to the second interview only 95 people got invited to the second interview because this is a set of people who got invited to the second interview right so the answer here is 95 by this is 95 100 so this is 95 by 170 you just use a calculator here you see what is this ratio and if it's if it's a if it's an examination where you have to fill a floating point value you just enter that value right very simple very simple logic here right very very simple logic here now here i did not use any any complex ideas of probability okay the only place where i use probability here is here i mean that, that too just as a simple ratio right nothing very complex here okay so this is one way to tackle problems like this by breaking this into sets and thinking through again you can think of this as a pure quant problem as a pure quantitative problem that's one way to tackle this there is another way to tackle it actually this question can be solved using bayes theorem and probability actually lot of lot of interviews ask some problem from bayes theorem you can check out for most companies especially for uh, especially at product based companies if they are testing for data science data analyst or even machine learning roles they ask again this question can be tackled using bayes theorem right so if 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 you again bayes theorem is so fundamental in probability that you are expected to know again in our course videos we have given a list of bayes theorem problems that you can solve for your practice and we have discussed about how to use bayes theorem and how to derive bayes theorem from scratch right now let's try to solve this problem using bayes theorem let's see how we can solve it let's go step by step so again when you write bayes theorem you have to write conditional probabilities very very clearly so let's let's go let's let's go step by step right so what does it say so 50 percent of people who attend the first interview and are invited for the second interview so let me start writing some probabilities probabilities that somebody is invited for the second interview is let's say 50 percent which means 0.5 okay probability of not being invited to the second interview i'm just creating these uh, uh, variables here these random variables here right i'm just creating these variables here so probably i'm just writing this in short form probability of being invited for the second interview is 0 0.5 probability of not being invited to the second interview is again 0 0.5 because only 50 percent of people are invited to the second interview right after the first interview obviously okay next so this fact is taken into consideration okay so then you have 95 95 percent of people who got invited for the second interview felt that they did well in the first interview okay so which means which means what okay let's write it down okay so probability what is happening here 95 percent of the people who got invited for the second interview which means these are people who already got invited for the second interview of all the people who got invited for the second interview how many what percentage of people felt they did well in the first interview so let's let's write in another variable w here probability that you think you performed well given that you are already invited to the second uh, second interview look at this probability that you did well or probability that you think you did well so w here means probability that you think you did well given that you are invited to the second interview is 95 because it says 95 percent right so this we have expressed as a conditional probability okay so this is not a conditional probability this is the first conditional probability now let's look at another thing okay so what does this say this says so this fact is also taken into consideration now we have 75 percent of people that did not get invited to the second interview felt they did well in the first interview which means probability that you felt you did well even though you are not invited to the not invited to the ns basically means not invited to the second interview see probability that you think you did well given that you are not invited to the next interview or the second interview you are not invited to the second interview is 0 0.75 so these are the these are the four numbers that you clearly have at your disposal now what is it that you have to compute now again this is also a conditional probability 
Now, the most important thing here is what do you have to compute? Let's see. If you feel that you did well in the first interview, you feel that you did well. Okay. You feel that you did well in the first interview. What is the probability you'll get invited to the second interview? So, you have to find what is the probability of being invited to the second interview given that you feel well. This is the probability that you need to compute. Very simple. Now, you just apply Bayes theorem here. Just apply Bayes theorem here. Probability of S given W or S condition on W is nothing but probability of S comma W or S intersection W. This is nothing but S intersection W, right? I'm just calling S comma W, right? Divided by probability of W, right? This is this is one part. Let, let's go to the next page and simplify this, right? So what do we want to find? We want to find probability of S comma W given probability of W. This is what we want to compute. Now, what is this? This is nothing but probability of S comma W. Again, when I say S comma W, S intersection W, that's what I mean. Okay, this is a short form of writing it divided by what is probability of W? Look at this. What is the probability that I'm feeling well? Look at this probability that I I think. So what is the probability that I think I did well? Okay, so that I can write it as probability of S intersection W plus probability of not S intersection W. Look at this. This is one way to write it, right? Right? If I think I did well, I can only belong to two parts. Either I'm invited to the second interview or I'm not invited to the second interview. And the reason we are splitting it into this form. Now you might say, hey, why are we splitting into this form? Because we have these four probabilities. We want to use these four probabilities and then apply Bayes theorem. See, this is what we have to compute. Now I'm trying to represent this in terms of these four numbers. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay, with a, with a simple bit of mathematical adjustment here and there. Okay, so now let's let's go and tackle this. What is the numerator now? Okay, probability of S comma W is nothing but probability of W conditioned on S and probability of S. Right? Same. Again, I'm applying the Bayes theorem here. Look at this. I'm just applying. Again, I'm just apply, actually not even the Bayes theorem. I'm, I'm directly applying the, the formula of conditional probability here. Right? Right? Very simple. Very simple. And why am I breaking this into this form? Because I have this term and I have this term. Look at this. I have this term and I have this term. I have those two terms. That's why I'm breaking this into these two terms divided by. Okay. So what is this now? This is again probability of W conditioned on S into probability of S plus again same. Same. I broke this into product of these two. I'm also breaking this into product of these two. Similarly, this also can be broken down. This is probability of. Uh, okay, let's let's break this down. Probability. So we what all probability we have ns already, right? So we have w conditioned on ns and probability of ns. We have these two, no? So these are events. So we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this. Now whatever we wanted to compute this probability, this probability now is represented in terms of the four probabilities that we have. Now, what is probability of W condition on S? Probability of W condition on S is 0.95. So, this is 0.95 into probability of S. Probability of S is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. That's in the numerator. What's in the denominator? Again, 0 0.95 into 0 0.5 plus 0.75 into 0 0.5. Now, if you observe carefully, this 0.5 is common everywhere. So, I can cancel this 0.5, this 0.5, this 0.5. What am I left with? I'm left with 0.95 by 0.95 plus 0.75. Now, what is this? This is nothing but 95 by 170. You multiply both numerator and denominator by 100, you'll get 95 by 70, which is exactly what we got even here. Right? So, in lot of interviews for data science, data analyst and machine learning roles, you will encounter problems where you have to apply Bayes theorem of some sort. Okay, these are very standard Bayes theorem problems. In our course videos, in the at the end of the chapters, we have given you problems for practice and we've asked you to some of these Bayes theorem problems also, right? Very simple problem. Again, you can solve it, treat it like a pure quantitative problem and solve it even if you're not comfortable with Bayes theorem or you can apply the concepts of conditional probability and Bayes theorem and solve it as shown here, right? Either way is okay. Either way is okay as long as you can apply the basic concepts of probability to solve problems. Again, this I've been in interview loops where the hiring manager says, please ask a question where they have to apply 
Bayes theorem to solve a question in probability and statistics. I've been, especially this is true for data analyst and data scientist roles, but there are also machine learning roles where this type of question is very commonly asked.